Welcome here to part five, the final part for the SpongeBob SquarePants new game PC Walkthrough. Hi, Over me now. 
find the whistle. The whistle? Yeah. The call of the... It's a crow whistle, and when you blow it, he comes and sings you. Hooray! Sounds kind of crazy. It is! Hooray! I guess we don't have much choice. Okay, Patrick, let's find that whistle and ride that... So his name is censored out of here because he didn't want to be, he wanted to pay a lot of money in order to be in the game, game and this is at all, he kind of already got paid a lot because being in the movie, so he decided to censor out his name. Jogs into view. 
Bikini Office to give them a ride back to Bikini Bottom. On his muscular back. Wahoo! Upon arriving over Bikini Bottom, shoot SpongeBob and Patrick down to the sea floor. Woo! Using his massive chest muscles, it doesn't take long for them to realize that the plankton has been up to no good where they were gone. Everyone in Bikini Bottom appears to be under his control. King Neptune himself. SpongeBob and Patrick must find a way to break Plankton's hold over the citizens Fuck by you. any means necessary. <laughs> okay, guys, time for the final chapter Planktopolis. And Planktopolis doesn't really look that way. We're back, Patrick, and just in time. Now, all we have to do is give Neptune back his crown. Come on! Uh, I think I'm gonna stay here. It's Perch Perkins over there, you know? You might want to interview me. Uh, okay. I'll be back as soon as I give Neptune his crown. Right. Okay, guys. Um, well, um, it looks like... That's the stage where Squidward was made manager. We're finally back to Bikini Bottom ever since Monday. It's been smelling like a loaf of bread again. I don't think Perch is in the right frame of mind for an interview. Why would I want to go there? I have other things Let's to do Let's see what right else now. can we do. Why would I want to go there? I have other things to do right now. Okay, yeah, so now I'm going to go walk to the OG for the cat and give him King Neptune back his crown. The name says it all. Hi, music maker. Hey there, little dude. You know I lift up my tentacle and Six I beats, say... Six man. And I can't say I've ever heard that one then. To get back to your picket. Okay, pal. Catch you on the third floor. Now it's into the crusty crack. Hello? All hail, Plankton. No! Oh, barnacles on top of barnacles. Squidward. Squidward, not you too. All hail, Plankton. Chilling. There is no time to eat. I've got to find a way to put a stop to Okay, so let's give the crown back to King Neptune. King Neptune, we got your crown back. Can you please let Mr. Krabs go now? All hail, Plankton. This isn't working out like I'd hoped. Plankton, what's going on here? What have you done? <laughs> what's it look like? I've taken control of the citizens of Bikini Bottom. I've transformed them into my own personal bucket head army. They are now... Say, what's that smell? Um, I think I absorbed some... Sweat. Ew. Anyway, bottom line, you lose. And you know why? Because you cheated? No, not because I cheated. Because I'm an evil genius. And you're just a kid. <laughs> a stupid kid! <laughs> I may be a kid, but I'm not gonna let you get away with this! Listen to yourself, you even talk like a kid! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! What do you think this is, a game of kickball on the playground? You never had a chance to defeat me! Well, I'm not giving up yet! Good! I enjoy watching you flounder! Give it your best shot, kid! Okay, so... Hi again, Minstrel. Can't escape the melodic allure, can you? Hi. Pretty awful what Plankton's done around here, isn't it? Huh? What? Sorry, man. I've been so lost in the groove that I haven't noticed anything. On. He's got the whole town wearing these fucking helmet things, and they have like an antenna thingy on the top that lets them control their thoughts. Well, wait a minute. Are you telling me he has subcrypto alpha wave enhancers built into a cranial matrix? I don't know. Am I? Dude, this is serious, man. We have to find a way to channel the power of rock to disrupt his mind control signal. How can we do that? Well, we need an amplifier. Don't you have one right there? Crab with subliminal messages and urging people to buy more stuff. 
Don't let the irony of law down. And there's one other thing we're gonna need. A reverse polarity sub ethos frequency emitter. You're joking. No, we need to tune into the exact frequency that Plankton uses to control these buckets. It looks like a little light ball. Where am I gonna find one of those? Well, Plankton has to have one, or he couldn't generate the frequency to begin with. So I guess that means... I have to go into the belly of the beast, the chum bucket. It won't be easy. Nothing worth doing ever is. Never fear, I will bravely face the dangers of the chum bucket for the greater good. Wow, you sounded like Clint Eastwood just now. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Gotta get a reverse polar party submarine rhythmic close enough. It looks like a little light bulb, and it's probably new really whatever equipment Plankton is using to control these buckets. I want you to back to your picking. Okay, pal. Catch you on the flip. Okay, so number one, this guy has no eyes, no pupils. Mm, this looks like he's got no mouth. Mouth. Those are all some sick beats as well. Catcher.
was it? We made it. We made it. Now what's close in the time to finish the game? And oh no, not this guy. Like the message to see like, hey, why aren't you having a
SpongeBob uses the power of rock and roll to overcome evil. He's a pale, he's old, he's dead. Please don't copyright me playing me. Receives the crown with gratitude and releases Mr. Krabs from his prison of ice. Plankton is removed from circulation and placed in a suitable institution. Patrick is finally interviewed by Bench Perkins. Mindy earns the respect of her father, who will never again dismiss her counsel of wisdom and compassion. Although he is fairly insistent that someone rocked in the dungeon for a thousand eternities. And SpongeBob? The kid? The winner? The knucklehead makes Spazitron? Yeah, that's manager makes Spazitron to you. End of the game. The end. Okay, guys. So this is the end of the game. In my opinion, this game was really solid. I had a lot of fun time playing this. I'm really proud of what I've seen on YouTube. It got a lot of views. This is a really underrated SpongeBob game. It's actually good, despite not being the best of graphic terms. I still think it's really good. The backgrounds almost look like it's the actual show of the actual movie. So, um, this was, um, this, this game is really good. It's really underrated. I think this game should get more, more attention. Just because it's a point and click adventure game doesn't mean it's bad. I think it's still really good. Harley even thinks it's better than the actual movie game on the console. Well, the third problem the game is that, one, we're missing a lot of voice actors, and two, um, we not only really missing a lot of voice actors, chapters four through six are really inaccurate to the actual movie, but still all the other chapters are really accurate to the movie, like chapters one through three and chapters seven and eight are really accurate to the movie. They tried their best, this game is really polished. I mean, you did have a few times in the game where it did kind of lag, but this is, I don't know why that happened, because that's never happened to me before when I played the game. This music is kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, thanks to Steven Hornberg. Peace out when you listen to some music.